Hello, hello. Welcome to day six of the 30 days, 30 tips on productivity. Uh, and today we are going to talk about hobbies and making time for that. Before we do that, who am I? I am Dr. Özgün Unver. I'm a mindset, well-being and burnout coach, mostly working with academics. And in this series, it's my aim to cheer you on uh, in your endeavor of achieving a productive summer. Coming back to today's topic, um, I was recently asked by a PhD researcher who is in the last phase of their PhD, intensive writing period. Um, and that person asked me basically, yeah, how, how can I incorporate hobbies in my life, in my day-to-day -day life, because I have to work all the time. I have this, this huge task to, to finish by the end of, I don't know, X uh, month. What can I do? So we are going to dissect that. Hobbies are usually the first thing that would go out the window when life gets busy for many of us, let's say. It may be different for you. You may cherish your hobbies like a lot and never take a break from them, but for most people, that is not the case. And why does that happen? Because we, we think we need to strip our days, our weeks uh, to the bare minimum in order to keep our focus on that one big task. Uh, because we think that otherwise, if we do uh, if we do all the things we usually do, that uh, our productivity would suffer. Um, and that is a that's a faulty way of thinking. And it again comes from this um, presupposition that productivity equals time management. But as you learned in the first video of the series, that is not the case. Productivity does not equal to time management. Productivity has three pillars, time, energy, and attention management. They both play a role in this. So spending time on something else does not automatically mean that we won't be productive anymore. We all know that hobbies take time, right? But they give us a lot uh, back in terms of energy and ability to focus. So attention. Um, hobbies are very important for uh, our physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual well-being. Even if your particular hobby, let's say you are interested in sports, you think of it as a, a physical well-being um, thing to pursue, but it does have effect in the background on your mental well-being, on your emotional well-being even on your spiritual well-being, if it gives you this, this um, feeling of belonging and being a part of, feeling a part of something bigger than yourself. So uh, these things are not to be underestimated. When we engage in hobbies, we can come back to work with renewed energy and, and uh, a fresh focus. And especially if these hobbies are different from our day-to-day -day, uh, work tasks. For instance, if you're reading and writing the whole day anyway, um, it is normal that you will crave uh, something social or something artistic, something more creative with your hands, uh, let's say. Um, and it is very, very important that you pursue that need so that another part of your brain is activated while the, the part that you use a lot day in and day out can get some time off. Basically, by engaging in hobbies, 
you express yourself in a different way. And uh, whatever is your hobby, go do more of it. Be it sports, art, music, dance, I don't know, bungee jumping, mountain climbing, playing Dungeons and Dragons, mermaiding, whatever that is. Do more of it, more power to you. And see you tomorrow for another tip. Until then, mind your own revisions.